two, one, now. So the first drop test with the soft dirt really surprised me because I didn't think anything was going to happen to it because it was really churned up, there wasn't a lot of rocks in it and everything, but it just shattered the glass on it. From there, did the concrete test and it warped this down here, a little bit more up here, uh, but that's pretty much it. Now after the concrete drop test, the screen didn't work anymore, but I was able to still take screenshots by hitting the power and the home button. I could hear it audibly uh, making the pachee, pachee. that's the technical, technical sound right there. And uh, so I know it was still working. After the water drop test, it quit doing that. So now that I know it's dead, I'm gonna try to chew up the screen some more with the Airsoft MP7. Here's a telltale sign right here. This is this is better than an iFixit teardown. Um, yeah, watch yourself because all the battery. But yeah, it looks like 
the shot was on, but again, dealing with a Z axis. Whenever you shoot on a paper target, you're dealing with an X and a Y axis that's going up and down. But when you start shooting 3D targets, you have a uh, Z axis, and this is a good, good indication of what that, what that means. You, uh, you get dead on target on the front side here, but because it was probably bent, it wasn't 100% straight, the back side here wasn't completely in line with it, so the bullet actually left there. And you can see a little bit of the uh, copper uh, scarred on that there. That's pretty cool. And still left the apple intact, so you got something nice you can, can throw in a shadow box.